Right, for the solid geometry for this square-based pyramid, first of all, you're going to draw in some construction lines just to show where the lines are from your view from the top of this thing. So, I'm going to draw in, in construction lines, line going across from corner to corner over there, and from corner to corner over here. Right, that will give me the apex of the square-based pyramid. I can now number the corners over here. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Um, I can then transfer those numbers up to the base over here, number one. Now, I don't have number two on this. I must draw a construction line coming up from number two and placing number two over there. Number three, and coming back to number four. Now, you'll see that there isn't a line drawn in over here showing two naught. There's a line over here, which means that I must draw in a line going from 2 to naught. Right. At the back of 2 naught, there would also be a line, but it would be in hidden detail, going 4 naught. Right. Once I've got that, I need to find where this cutting plane is going to cut through this view over here. Right. I'm going to label it um, by, first of all, drawing a line coming down from where it's cutting over here. Now, you'll see that this is not a single point, it's actually two points on there. Reason being is that it is cutting this line 2, 3, and it is cutting this line 3, 4. So I can call this, I'm going to call it A and B. There is A and B. The line then comes up over here, and it cuts through this point over here, okay? But that's not one point either. That is going to be another point somewhere over here and over here. I'm going to call it C and D. I cannot yet get those two points because I don't have an auxiliary view from which I can get it from. I can get this point over here. Let's call it E. Okay. And I'm going to drop that down from this line 1 naught. There is E on 1 naught. So this point over here would be E. Okay, so I've got A, B, and E. I now need to find these two points over here, which I don't yet have. How do I do that? I'm first going to have to draw my auxiliary view over here. And the way I do that is I draw lines going from all the points. You can see that the, I've already got a line going out from all these points, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I take those measurements from my xy axis. There's the distance from 1. Find 1 over here. Take it across to the new xy axis. Plant it down over here. And label that point number 1. Go to point 2. Take it across to the xy axis. Plant it down. And we've got point 2. Go to point 3. Take it across, and it should line up with point one. Four, on the xy axis, find four, go across, plant it down over here, and there is four. Once I've got one, two, and three, four, I'm just going to get two again, because I don't think I did it very accurately there. There's two. Two is over there. Right, once I've got that, I can also get my apex over here. That is from naught going across. Pump that down over there. That is the apex called naught. And I can now draw some construction lines going up to point naught. Just construction lines, because you're going to need to cut away certain parts of it. And if you've drawn it in dark, it becomes a bit more complicated. Right, once I've got that, I can now find where the cutting plane cuts CD. Okay? Take it across from point CD over here. And we say that 
Point C, I'm going to say it's on 2 naught. Okay? So, on 2 naught, you can see where C is going to be cutting. I can take that distance from the XY axis to C. Come across here to the new XY axis. And point C is then going to be over there. D. D, we say, is going to be on 4 naught. So D will be this point over here where the line comes across. Take a measurement from D. Come down to the XY axis and you will see that D is on that point over there. Once I've got those points, I can then cut, cut away the parts that need to be cut away. It goes from A to C, from B to A, from B up to D, from D up to E, and from E back to C. I can then draw in the base solid. Note, I don't go all the way to 3, because 3 has actually been cut away. 4 to B. C, 4 to B. 1 to 4. I can still see it. still there. And 1 to 2. I can also draw in this line going 1 up to E. There is a line going from 1 up to E. There is a line going from 2 up to C. There is a line going from 4 to D. Okay? And once I've got that, I can now hatch in this section over here. Right. Once that's done, I can now try and find out where... Um, where the cut is on this auxiliary view. All right, let's have a look. Distance from B to the XY axis. Take it across to the XY axis. Plant it down. That would be point B. From A to the XY axis. From there. A to the XY axis. And that would be point A. I've got C and D, E to the XY axis, there it is, take it across, and plant it down, there is point E. Once I've got that, I need you to concentrate very hard on this idea. When I'm looking from this side of the object, I'm going to be removing the base of it. I'm not removing the top, I'm moving, removing the base. I'm looking at the cutting plane with this bottom part removed. Therefore, I'm going to end up with something that looks like this. Cozy Bay tour forms are available at the office or from Prefab Lab 2 from Mrs. Waterson. Please, with all grade 11s who are writing CAT and accounting tomorrow, meet Mrs. Thorne in the tutor office at the beginning of second break. Debs and Squires are pleased to meet in the outer floor at the beginning of break. Chess, please note there will be no chess practice this afternoon. Students going on the history tour must please meet for a compulsory meeting at second break in the lecture theatre. Reminder for all students to hand in meet the teacher forms. Please come to your swanner pool, see Mrs. Kutze in the printing room now at break. The following students are pleased to call at the office. Kerry Lee Wilson, Isabella Pillay. Right, that's the end of the drawing.